how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about two-dimensional blues bends. And uh, I'm going to show you that lick that I was just playing and how uh, I actually am bending two strings. I'm doing a double stop. And what ha what's happening is actually each string is moving. One is moving a whole step up and one is actually moving a half step up. And that's why I call it a two-dimensional bend. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so what I'm still doing is I'm playing this lick in the key of E, and I'll show you how you can transpose this around here in a second. But I'm taking my third finger and I'm barring across my third and second strings at the 14th fret. And what I'm doing is I'm flattening that finger out and then I'm going to bend towards the floor. This doesn't work if you push towards the ceiling. This only works as you pull it towards the floor. And what happens is, as I do that, what I'm doing is actually bending this note on the third string from the note that's on the 14th fret of the third string up until it sounds like the 16th fret. So up a whole step, the equivalent of going up two frets. And at the same time, this note that I'm playing on the second string, as I bend down like that, it's only bending up a half step. And it's just, you know, it would, it would be, this kind of happens naturally. You don't really have to think about, am I bending this up a whole step? Am I bending this up a half step? Uh, what happens is a lot of times when people see this, in written out tab solos and they see that the third string is supposed to go up a whole step and the second string is supposed to go up a half step they're you know trying to bend like this and trying to negotiate bending one string up a whole step and up a, the other up a half step but if you do this where you're pulling towards the floor like this you can even use your second finger to kind of flatten out and, and kind of help automatically that, that second string is going to go up a half step and the third string is going to go up a whole step. And you can kind of, um, you know, play each string and kind of play the note it should sound like and see how far you should bend. If you can just focus on how far you should bend for that third string, like I said, the second string will, will happen by itself. So this is basically like we're playing these two notes at the 14th fret on the second and third strings, and then it's like we're going up to the um, 15th fret on the second string and the 16th fret on that third string. So it sounds like. All right, and then what I'm doing for my, my full lick now here is that I'm bending that up. I stopped the strings. I want. I don't want to hear it come back down. You you could, but what I did was stop it, then play these uh, notes at that 14th fret unbent, and then coming down here, I'm going to take my first finger, bar it across the third and second strings at the 12th fret. I'm going to play those both together. And I'm hammering my second finger onto the 13th fret of the third string. And then I finally just end on the fourth string at the 14th fret. So. And so this works over, and I'm playing this, I said this is kind of a blues thing, and so I'm playing this over an E7 chord. And uh, you know, it's kind of mixing up major and minor pentatonic sounds in this area, and I won't really gonna go into all the scales and everything that, that are here, but just know that this will work over a blues in the key of E, especially when you're on the E7 chord. Now, if you wanted to play this in a different key, or even play this over different chords in the blues, so for instance, uh, in a blues in the key of E, we have an A7 chord, well, what I could do is move everything down to the position here where I'm playing. And this note on the fourth string, you can kind of use as your guide because in this case, this is the A up here at the 14th fret on 
the uh, fourth string, that was an E note. And that was over the E7 chord. And down here in this kind of fifth position, then uh, this note is A on the seventh fret of the uh, fourth string. And so I could do that either in the key of A if I wanted to switch keys or for what's called the four chord in the blues in the key of E. And the other chord that's in the uh, key of E for a basic major blues would be a B7. And so for that, I could play it right here in the seventh position. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of play that over a basic blues in the key of E, just kind of moving that lick around so you can see how that works. And so there's all kinds of variations you can do. I kind of kept this uh, with a kind of simple rhythm. All kinds of variations you can kind of mess around with that. All right, so have fun with your new two-dimensional double-stop blues bend.